The exaggerations of propaganda and the future Four Division undisputed champion, Jaron Ennis. Over the past four years or so, American Jaron Ennis has received an ever-growing amount of praise, which has become increasingly radical and exaggerated, especially when it has been amplified by the propaganda of PBC First and later by Matchroom Boxing and their related media. Initially, it was said that he was an exceptional talent, which could be true. Then it was said that he had the potential to do truly great things, which was perhaps a rational projection. But later the issue got out of hand. It was said that he was an undeniable future Hall of Famer, the greatest talent that boxing has seen in the last 30 years or in fits of true madness. It was even said of him that he was going to be a four-division undisputed champion. Many of these and other such bold statements were said with good intentions towards the boxer, and they simply showed unconditional but incredibly illogical support from people who knew him or who were from the same city. But others said such things only trying to support the plans of promoters or for mere political, social, or economic reasons. In any case, whether the excessive praise had good intentions or not, the fact is that the victim of them has ended up being Ennis himself, who on Saturday, in his rematch against Karen Chikadzian, had a performance that was not exactly up to the level of a future four division undisputed champion. Quite the contrary, after dominating and winning by decision a rather tedious first fight against Chikadzian. In the rematch, Ennis provided more entertainment but showed many flaws. These were especially noticeable in defense, against a boxer over whom he had a huge advantage in technique, reflexes, speed, reach, etc. Ennis was repeatedly and easily hit by jabs, left hooks, right hands, and other shots that, if they had not been thrown by a boxer with only 54% of knockout wins, but by an elite opponent, could have put him in clear trouble. The fact that Ennis won by a smaller margin than in the previous fight is not really the most worrying thing, but rather that at many moments showed a really dangerous overconfidence with which he appeared to show that he has internalized the exaggerations that have been said about him in recent years. Ennis did not seem very unhappy with his performance, and after the fight, he justified it by saying that Chikadzian is not the type of boxer who motivates you to give it your all, as he is not a high-level opponent. But in the ring, Ennis didn't seem to be fighting half-heartedly against an opponent he was far superior to. Rather, he seemed to be making a real effort to get a better result than in the first fight and ended up having a few really contested moments and getting hit too many times without managing to score the knockout. Thus, many, reacting to the exaggerations that have been said about Ennis, are now criticizing him very harshly, going to the opposite extreme and dismissing in him any kind of talent and potential to achieve great success, an inevitable turn of events whenever the media goes beyond what is rational in evaluating a boxer. Additionally, the fact that Ennis has never faced an elite opponent whether due to being avoided or protected, significantly affects his prestige and could permanently stagnate his boxing. This is why Ennis needs now some big fights against top-level opponents, something that has not happened yet in his eight-year professional career, in order to be able once and for all to stop looking at a future that may never come and start living in the reality and present of his career which could be tremendously successful or much less brilliant than expected, but which will be better than living in a fairy tale written by people who, most of the time, have no real interest in what is best for him and will not worry in the least if he fails. Thanks for watching. More info at our website.